functioning. Jamie, Jamie, if I was to advise you anything that's in wrong, please to stand when you're looking at Kyle. Look at the side, son. Lock cleaner. All right, now there's room. Actually, cows have four teeth, so you can come round this side, guys. There's room for two. Now, how easy is that? Well, you need to be a bit quicker than that. Now, milking has come on so much from my father's generation. My father is 80 now, and they milk by hand. They were as boys from school, they would milk cows by hand. And now, well, cows, the transformation's incredible, just like the rest of the world. Cows, some dairy farms, the cows never actually get out to graze. All the food is brought to them. We've all got our own opinion of that. They're brought in, there's a, a wee uh, electronic tag around their neck when it goes into the parlour. The milking parlour, it, the computer knows how much food that cow is to get. It'll start giving it the food. There's a robot will put the cluster on. There's a robot will take the cluster off and the cow's milk at the end of the whole journey. Can we form two lines please and then we can all have a shot? Two, two lines behind. Two straight lines please. They're called cues. That's it. Two straight lines. And then let somebody else have a, ha a shot. Oh, we're getting on great here. And this is partly the reason why cows have such long faces. So Daisy, doing a great job here. Without these cows, without these dairy farms, where would we be? We wouldn't have any cheese, we wouldn't have any milk, we wouldn't have any milk for our cornflakes, just that horrible soya stuff. No, this is like a... This is cheese, yogurt, chocolate, ice cream. It would be a very dull world without them. And compared to these wonderful creatures over here, our Highlanders, these are a very pampered animal. The Highlanders, the Highlanders will live outside merrily and thrive through winter's winds and summer's glory. But these cows in the winter, they must be housed. They have to have the highest quality of feed and copious amounts of it to keep that with milk production up. A very expensive way to farm and very, very hard work. Once you've had a couple of squirts, just let someone else have a go, please. Feel free to have your picture taken. She's called Daisy. That's it, son. If you've had a wee shot, don't hog it. Let someone else have a wee go. There's only water in it. It won't harm you at all. What a great team. We used to have a race here. But there was far too much fighting. We used to have a team of boys and a team of girls, but they're doing grand here. And if you've got any questions, please shout them out. What I don't know, I'll make up. An average dairy cow in this country will produce just over 7,500 litres of milk every year. But don't swing on them, son, for goodness sake. It's supposed to squeeze them up, so we do it like this. Okay, see so you squeeze them like that. Give a shot like that. Goodness gracious, poor Daisy. That's it. <laughs> okay, next one then. Now there's two sides, you don't have to stick to one side. We've got two sides. Dual sided cow, what a great idea. Now cows traditionally calve down in the springtime and the autumn. Uh, as I say, she's just had her first calf, so we call her an autumn calver. We're all having a good time here. And these little dishes are filling up. Well, a wee bit came out there. That's not bad. Do you want me to get you a round of applause? Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Natural born milker. We don't want to get you for Christmas and you've got a big garden. <laughs> yeah, coo. Did you find the, the magic? I was funny. So for those of you that weren't here at the beginning, Daisy is a Fijian cow. One of my favourite dairy breeds. Grew up with them. Under the auspices of Mr. Robert Carruth, high off in Sale Farm, Kilbarken, near Bridge of Weir. A very large dairy herd at the time, 130 cows. Now, 
250 is considered average. And they're talking about these super herds. An idea from America of herds up to 20,000 and more. I can't imagine that. Yes. Get on very well here. This is where you don't have to get your milk this way when you get put in your cornflakes in the morning. Look at that. Absolutely excellent. Another round of applause for this young milker. A natural, a natural. Oh, here lad. That's excellent. Look at that. You, you have got a cow, haven't you? You're very good at this. Very good. I like that technique, son. <laughs> so we're getting closer to the end of the queue. Just to let you know, I will be doing a sheepdog demonstration in 15 minutes or so at quarter past. But we'll get the dairy cow demonstration out of the way first. Oh, 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 he's not really even on us, is he? Changed his mind. Do you want to meet Daisy? Come on round to your head. Oh, just a shy boy, much like myself. Look, it's not actually a real cow, it's a toy cow. It's only a big toy cow. And it's for sale if you're interested, guys. <laughs> so, this has proved very popular, this cow. I made it several years ago as a bit of a joke, and uh, Glasgow City Council now claim ownership of it. They've got it at their, uh, it's like a toll cross farm. And it's used frequently, they tell me, by lots of children, and it tells them where milk comes from, because many of them do believe that milk comes from the supermarket, which is true. But there is a process, and this is how it's produced. Of course, Nowadays, it's all done automatically. Clusters take the milk off the mothers twice a day. You do it fairly quick. Uh, uh, the people that used to milk by hand, and there's still plenty of them about, used to tell me the worst thing was the thumbs. It was very, very sore on the thumbs. No matter how much you did it, you couldn't get used to that pain. Of course, those were the days of the milkmaids, three-legged milking stools, and uh, can anyone tell me why milking stools have three legs? Because they don't wobble. And if the three legs won't wobble, and quite often they go out in the field milking the cows. When milk leaves the farm, it must be below a certain temperature. But back in the old days, if they could get it, to the community when it was still warm, he used to get more money for it. So how things have changed because if it was still warm, it was an indication as to how fresh it was. But that's all changed now. When we were young, we used to milk the cows, bottle it, and then put it in the windowsills and doorsteps of the village of Lust. We can't do that anymore. It's all got to be pasteurised first. So we're getting on very well here. I don't see anybody actually drinking the milk or water. It would be quite wise not to. How are we getting on, kids? You can take this one off the bucket list. Milk in a queue. Have a wee wonder. Have a wee wonder. Try and break something new as you do. Alright, that's it. I thought there were going to be more grown ups who try this. We used to have a race, as I said, we used to get quite competitive, especially between the grown-ups. And we're getting down to the last few. But I hope you've enjoyed the little show. Please, would you give a round of applause to all the boys and girls that took part? You did very well. I don't think it's going to take over from the computer games, but it seems to enjoy it. And I'm glad it's not real milk because most of it's getting squatted onto the grass. No, you see it.